Good day, this is Jim Pytel from Columbia Gorge Community College Renewable Energy Technology Program. This is Digital 2, EET 122. We're going to start off our discussion with comparators. Comparator, its basic function is compare magnitudes of two binary numbers and return one of three possible outcomes where number A, it's equal to B, number A is greater than B, or number A is less than B. The most basic is this guy, is equality. Is it equal or is it not equal? So if we remember from our gates, we had our exclusive or, x or, and that was high any time it was different. So we're going to try to figure out when something's the same. So why not use the exclusive nor, x nor. Okay, so our exclusive nor truth table. A, B, I'll put X. So it's high when they're the same. So A0, B0, you get a 1. A1, B1, you get a 1. Anytime 0, 1, nope, they're not the, not the same. 1, 0, nope, they're not the same. So for single bit numbers, that's easy. You just use an exclusive nor. But now, for two bit numbers to be the same, both di uh, excuse me, both digits in both positions must be the same. Because there's no doubt that, like, if A was this and B was that, they're the same. But one zero zero one, they are not the same because one zero is not equal to zero one. But you're like, well, there's a one there and a zero there. This one's got a one and a zero. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's both bits have to be the same and they have to be the same in the same position. Okay, how do you do this? What you do, exclusive or, excuse me, exclusive nor, exclusive nor. So this is a one, a zero, Oops, B1, B0, A0, and B0 get fed into this exclusive nor, and A1, B1 get fed into this exclusive or. Like I said, it has to be in the same position, so what you do is you and the results together. Because, let's use this example, 1001. So if this was A1, A0, B1, B0. So A1 and A1, they are a 1 and a 0. Oops, what am I doing here? Yeah, A1 is a 1, B1 is a 0. And now we go to A0 is a 0, B0 is a 1. So this is going to return a 0, a 0. And obviously, zero and zero as a zero, so they're not the same. So now, zero one is that equal to one one? Obviously, we know it's not going to be equal. But we get this situation here where our a zero and our b zero ones are the same. So one and one, they're the same. This guy over here, though. That's not the same. So one and a zero, that's still a zero. So it's, it basically just solidifies the fact that both digits in both positions must be the same. Now let's change this again. Is one one equal to one one? Well, yes, it is. Let's make sure. This gate's the same, still gives you one. A one exclusive Nord with B one. Also gives us a one. One and one is a one. Now you can expand this to as many bits as you want to. All you got to do, put an AND gate at the end. So here's, it, whoops, let's make that a more convincing exclusive nor. That's for two bits. Here's for three bits. Four, and on and on and on and on, basically saying ultimately requires this and at the end ultimately requires all bits to be equal, all bits in all positions to be equal.
okay? So we beat the heck out of equality. Let's talk about inequality. Well, there's two states. So if, first off, if it's if A is not equal to B, it's got to be in one, one or the other. It's either A is greater than B or A is less than B. That's the only time, the only other options for inequality. Let's go back up. That was equal. So we're back with inequality now. So if A is not equal to B, it's got to be one of the two options. A is more than or A is less than B. So take what you know about binary and let's just draw a number. Let's do 1, 0, 0, 0. And now let's do this other number, 0, 1, 1, 1. Which is greater? And well, I'm going to call this A, that one B. Well, it's pretty obvious that A is greater. But you're like, hey, wait a second. B's got all these ones. Isn't that bigger? No, it isn't. Let's check this out. According to what we learned in binary, where this is a placeholder for 1, 2, 4, and 8. So we know this number here, that's got a 1 in the 8 position, so that's 8. But this guy has got 1 plus 2 plus 4, which is 7. So what this is saying, this MSB, it's the most significant bit. You know, I mean, it makes sense because if there's anything uh, in the um, most significant bit, if there's any one in there, it's obviously greater than the next no than a number that doesn't have anything in there. So what you have to do is set up your numbers. Let's stick with a four-bit example. A2, A1, A0, B3, B2, B1, B0. What you got to do is just compare bit by bit going this way from MSB to LSB. So first off, what you do is if A3 is a 1 and B3 is a 0, stop right there. We already know A, oops, <laughs> A is greater than B. Now, if A3 